This is the amazing Rachel Chamness, and she is from Sound Waves Heal, and also her Facebook group is Sunshine and Songs. And what is funny is that one of the questions was, tell us about something that happened to you spiritually, profound, something when you were younger. And I've known Rachel for long enough that I'm like, she has multiple, <laughs> multiple, multiple <laughs> spiritual experiences every single day. So, so feel free to share with us <laughs> what you were able to come up with. What stood well, out? Well, um, I did think of something um, because um, I was thinking about, well, okay. So when I was a kid, I could see spirit. And, um, when I tried to tell my brothers, you know, or my sister, or my, you know, my other brother, they all made fun of me. And, you know, it was, it was like kind of traumatic. They were like, you know, oh, I used to tell everyone I'm psychic, I'm psychic. And then, you know, everyone was like, oh, you're crazy. <laughs> so, it's like my mom sent me to a counselor. Like my daughter's telling everyone she's psychic, like she needs help, like that kind of thing. And my brothers were like making fun of me. And so, and it was also scary. And then I didn't have any confirmation or anyone to be like, it's okay. Or, you know, I'd only had, you know, them making fun of me. So I turned it off. I don't know how I did it. I just did. And then for most of my life, even when I started working with, um, spiritual helpers and everything, just trying to um, become more spiritual or more in touch or demolish blocks, whatever, especially when I was an opera singer and I was just looking for ways to be happier. Um, I always wished that I was clairvoyant. And so even when I started working as a light worker, I was like, I wish I was more clairvoyant. And then it wasn't until I made, um, you remember for my, for my um, group, I made a a meditation that I saw on my website and it's uh, open eight clairs. It wasn't until I did that, that it opened up my clairvoyance. And now I think it's one of my strongest clairs. It's so crazy. Wonderful. I just think it's wonderful. I think that um, life is crazy. You know what I mean? It's like, I always, every time someone else would say, I see this, I see this. I'd be like, oh, I wish I could see things <laughs> instead of just like knowing. And then, them. Yeah. <laughs> and then you create your own. Yeah. I had it the whole uh, time. Know. I just turned it off. And I, I mean, it's interesting because I hear other people say I turned it off, you know, and then, um, but I just had no idea that I had done it. That's incredible. That's How old were you when you said you were psychic? I was in, I was little. I remember I was in um, mm -hmm. second grade was probably when I turned it off second or third grade wow. so it was like eight or nine no kidding. yeah so I turned it off that young can you share with everybody about the time that you did go to the counselor and you were able to pick <laughs> up on the that? little boy prior to <laughs> yeah I want to hear that okay. one again so my mom sent me to the counselor and I was like yeah I'm psychic <laughs> and she was like okay that's fine and so she then she was just talking to me about stuff she was super cool and then I told her about what I could see in her office. I could see this boy, she had this like dart, this dart board and I could see him playing darts. And of course I just thought that I was seeing the impression of him. Like maybe he was a, another, another student. I mean, another, um, cause she worked with children, another child that came to her and she kind of made it sound like it was, but perhaps he was passed. I don't know. Cause I could see him really clearly. And, um, she confirmed, yes, yes, there's a boy that comes. It looks just like that. That's, and that's exactly what he does. So you're right. So she like confirmed that I was seeing, and that was really good. That really did help. But I guess I turned it off anyway. <laughs> wow. Still, and it's kind of hard too, because if, you know, our immediate family isn't supportive, that's who we see every day, yeah. you know? So even if it is somebody that we see every week, once a week or every other week, it's almost like we still don't quite feel safe with that. And yeah. Yolanda was just saying, you turned it off because you were shut down yeah. and, it, and it's true or, or we don't have the support we need in order to cultivate that or yeah. further pursue that, you know? And I didn't have a lot of so, friends, you know, I was running around telling people I was psychic, so <laughs> they thought it was pretty weird. <laughs> I love it. I love it. And so when did it turn back on? So, um, oh, so that's the part I really wanted to tell you. So, um, later I started to realize, I learned that if I listened to my intuition, I kept hearing people say, listen to your intuition. Maybe it was like Oprah or something. And I realized that I was, I had really strong intuition. And like, if I listened to it, I was, it was always right. And if I didn't listen to it, it was always wrong. So I started to really trust that. And I think that's why my clear cognizance was so strong. Cause I felt that was a very safe that, you know, cause they were like, Oh, it's just guardian angels. Oh, it's just, you know, so I guess that's why 
my clear cognizance is so strong because I really, that was kind of what I cultivated, you know, but then the clairvoyance turned back on, I guess, last year. So it's really strong now. I see lots of stuff. So it's kind of crazy. I love that. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Well, it makes sense too. I feel like with the clear cognizance to really cultivate that just because it's almost like you don't necessarily, you're not sharing that a ton with people, yeah. it, you know, it's, it's almost like, oh, okay, yeah. I, I can just keep following my inner guidance, you know, mm -hmm. which is cool. Oh my goodness. So yay. And you know what is so cool, Rachel, I've been able to work with Rachel on the five days of angel blessings so fun. and just, it's just so much fun, but I'd love to hear or have you share some of the things that you've been able to do with me that you enjoyed or that made an impact. Yes. The five days was, that was awesome. That was really tremendous. I really loved that. And I loved all the blessings that we got with that. That was, you know, that's a fun part about being a light worker is that you get the blessings that you, that spirit asks you to create for other people. <laughs> but, right. um, you know, for, I love your VIP. It's so cool. And um, it's so interesting. Like, you know, you don't have to be a beginning um, medium to be in your VIP. You can be more advanced. It, you know, you have something for everyone. I love seeing like your take on like the way that you do things. And then like, there's a lot of things that you do that I don't do, you know, like psychometry or whatever. Like, you know, I love your pendulum technique, like all that stuff's like so interesting and really helpful to me. And, but my favorite thing is the insights. I, I love spirit Friday too, when I get, but I hardly can make it, but, but I love insights because, you know, I give people insights all the time, but there's some things that I just need someone else to tell me because I don't believe the answer. Do you know what I mean? It's like, mm -hmm. <laughs> and Absolutely. you have given me some mm -hmm. incredible insights and you're, um, also with the angel cards too. It's like, um, you have been so right on so many times and you have helped me so much with that because, um, you really, I don't know. You just, it's like, you're just, you're, you're just right on. <laughs> been really oh, helpful I to me. I love to hear that. Mm -hmm. That's wonderful. Well, and I hear what you're saying. So just in being able to pull in this information for other people, you know, pulling these insights in, it's so nice to have somebody else to be able to ask for your insights. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Cause <laughs> so. sometimes you're, I mean, especially there's, especially certain things for me, that it's like, I just can't believe the answer. So I just, I need someone else. Cause I feel like I'm influencing the pendulum or something, you know, or like, I just, mm. I'm too close to it to like really hear the answer too, you know? Right. Yeah. And I feel it reminds me of when uh, Dave and I were moving across the country and I was, I was here kind of alone, kind of floundering, <laughs> trying to find this home and just like reaching out to people like, when is the other home going to sell? When is this home going to, you know, <laughs> when are we going to close on this home? And when are we actually going to move in? So I hear what you're saying, because it's just so nice to have that confirmation about yeah. your life, you it know? Is. Mm -hmm. It is. And I, I love, love how you help people discover their senses and discover how to use their clairs and how you have like, you know, you have the way that you view it, like as a occupational therapist too, you kind of have that like scientific sort of viewpoint. And I, I love that about you. I think it's really cool the way you help people. I think your VIP group is just amazing. It's really great. Oh, thank you. Thank you. Sure, it's just true. Well, I'd love to hear for, for you to share. I know a lot of what you do, but for you to share. <laughs> What you do and what you're working on, and you have your own VIP group that's absolutely incredible. <laughs> I do. I help. Um, I help what I call the light path. So if you're looking for your life path or um, your light worker path, especially. So if you're looking for your light path, you're looking for your light worker path. That's just all there is to it. And if you're attracted to me, then you definitely are. You know, I uh, help people find their light path. So it whether you are an advanced light worker who um, wants to add something to it or just has questions or you're, you're not even sure what you are, but you just know you're drawn to this life and you want to do something. I can help you figure out what your modality is, um, with the help of angels and elementals, uh, with the channeling or help you with blocks to remove blocks and sound healing sessions and, um, kind of help, help with anything like, like past life problems or anything that's in your way. You know, that's the kind of thing that I do. And right lately, I've been working with galactic beings, which is so just mind-blowing and fun. So this month, I'm doing a Lyran attunement and meditation. And we just did the master class for VIP. Um, 
It's weird to say. Can we... you tell us more? <laughs> can you tell? Yeah. Can you tell us more about, about the Lyrans? galactic? Okay, so Lyrans are um, they are all different kinds of cat-like beings, many different kinds that are from the Lyra constellation star system, which includes Vega, and um, they want to help us with self-love. So um, sure that everyone is hearing lots about self-love right now. It's definitely in the human consciousness. Now's the time to really work on self-love, um, help with uh, emotional wounds. We're really being called to clear that up, to go forward so that we can be light workers. You know, the time is coming where the earth is changing and it's really time to work on this stuff. And so with the attunement, they're bringing, just a second, boo, they're bringing a lot of, um, <laughs> they're bringing a lot of light codes and light language for self-love. Uh, also bringing the high heart chakra into uh, fifth dimension, which is like a crystalline high heart chakra, which is just really important for self-love and just how to just how to choose love every day. That's what they that's their main message. They want us to choose love always, and it's not always easy, but they want to help. So it's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. And then, that's you know, amazing. Thank you for high, sharing you know? that. <laughs> oh, for sure, for sure. It's incredible because I was at the master class, so I was I was able to pull in a lot of the information. <laughs> and I think that is really what blew me away was that they want us to be able to express and be in love, like you know, no matter what. Like we're called to that. We're called yeah. to that. We're meant to be that. We're meant yeah. to be that love. We're meant to portray that love. Um, and I just want to catch up on the comments real quick. Um, Gail Mason says, hi. Brianica's here. Yay, hi, yay. Brianica. Gail Honda. <laughs> Patti, you both ladies are yes. amazing. Thank you, Patti. We are all actually Lyran star seeds, I, I believe, because they mm. did seed the earth, They're, they told me. So, but you can also be from Lyra from a past life. So there's two ways to be a star seed. So, um, I think the Lyrans really, they're really connected to us. Everybody. They're cool. That's fascinating. <laughs> well, where can people find you? Well, you can go to soundwavesheal.com um, or you can go to sound, the Facebook page is Soundwaves Heal and that you can find my events there, like the attunement. And uh, my group is Sunshine and Songs. Yay. <laughs> Definitely reach out to Rachel. I have done the attunements and meditations for other elementals, your fairies, unicorn. I mean, the list goes on mermaids Yay. and it's like every time <laughs> I dragons. Thank you. I'm like, there's more, there's more. <laughs> and every time it's just so transformative. It's almost like, you know how we, there are times that I feel like I, okay, I'm like, oh yeah, yeah I've made it. I, I've gotten here. You know, I, I know where I'm at. And then all of a sudden I'll do one of your meditations or attunements and I'm like, whoa, I just like pop up even more. I'm like, that was cool. I'm going to do more. So oh, definitely get you. in Rachel's energy. Yes. Oh my gosh. I love your work. Thank you. Um, so soundwavesheal.com mm -hmm. and then soundwaves heal. Is that the Facebook That's business the Facebook page? Facebook business page. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then sunshine and songs for the Facebook yeah. group. Awesome, girl. Well, thank you, thank so, you so much, much thank for you. being here. Thanks for all that you do for everybody. Awesome. Absolutely. Aw, <laughs> I love it. I love it.